and welcome to the Just Call It Podcast, everybody. I'm your host, William Murillo, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful fucking day. Because today's another fucking day in paradise, as they say. Rest in peace, George Warden. The guy used to say that to me when, uh, go to work. And I was like, you know, you hear that. It's like an old ass saying that someone says to you at work. If you never heard it, I feel bad for you. If you have heard it now, I also feel good for you as well, because now when someone says it to you, you don't have to feel stupid. But uh, I used to go to work at this place in a warehouse, and um, and he used to tell me that a lot. You know, I'd be like, hey man, how you doing? And he'd be like, it's another day of paradise. Because it wasn't another day of paradise, you know, it was work. It was uh, not a fun thing, it was uh, definitely not cool, and um, it was annoying. But uh, I got to see a work with that guy. He was a lot older than me, significantly. Could have been my grandfather, basically. And um, yeah, I went to his funeral. So rest in peace to that guy, George Warren. He used to drink a beer sometimes at work and drive around the forklift and just work hell, hella hard. So I don't know if that guy ever did anything wrong while under the influence. But hey, man, I still think he's a good dude. So cheers to that guy. I want to stop and say thank you to all of my viewers personally, as this will be a YouTube video. Also, I mean, if you're listening to audio, go check it out on YouTube. Please, uh, you know, like and subscribe, man. Uh, as as I could say, and to all to let people know, um, just trying to get better at the podcast. If you guys are my fans and um, just want to give me a shout out, go on my YouTube, you know, just leave a comment, just reference what episode you heard me on and just say, Hey man, I heard your podcast and it was great. Or, Hey, I think you need this, or it was a good podcast, but do this, you know what I'm saying? And I just realized I did not put any audio into my thing, so... Give me one second. Back to the podcast, and I hope you guys can hear me a little bit more clearly as we're trying to update the podcast with some microphones. So, how to make a slight adjustment, and uh, hey, man, we learned, man, uh, had it set right here, and I totally didn't see it, so totally sorry about that. And uh, again, I want to say thank you to everybody. Um, I hope you guys can hear me clearly now and hear my deep, sensual baritone voice um that i love you guys from deep in my heart and uh yeah man podcasting has been fun you know uh all that stuff i haven't really i don't really talk to other podcasters or integrate myself with anybody but you know i watch a lot of podcasts and i feel like i'm t- sitting in there in the same room with them sometimes and of course i listen to everyone listens to joe rogan but a podcast I've been listening to lately, I, I love listening to how it works, how crime works. That's really good. I was listening to one about the Nuestra Familia, about a guy who was uh, got in trouble and uh, had a kind of, I guess he got screwed over two times and basically had to basically kind of, not necessarily rap, but kind of have to give a little bit of information how the Nuestra Familia works. So it kind of sucks, man. To be put in that situation and but also to be faithful to the gang or loyal as you could say for many years and then all of a sudden you know your loyalty is not worth shit and it's like kind of working at a place for a long ass time you know you work at a place for a really really long time and boom you know no one appreciates you and it's like you know everything sucks um and I definitely recommend to people that, you know, you try to stay loyal to wherever you're at, but at the same time, you got to be appreciated for your loyalty and your hard work. So if that's not worth your loyalty and your hard work, then there's no reason to be affiliated or organized or whatever you're doing, right? And for being treated like shit, right? So that always happens in every organization. It always happens in every situations i always say to people is you know choose your cards wisely man but anyways back to the podcast that was that was a good uh that's a good podcast i watched and of course i watched brandon shop 
and Brian Callen's uh, Fighter and the Kid. Uh, I love to watch um, uh, Your Mom's House with Tom Segura and Christina Pazinski. Um, I love to watch um, Two Bears, One Cave. Uh, Kill Tony on every Monday at 6 p.m. over here, uh, <laughs> like uh, California time in the Bay Area. And uh, pretty much everybody in that whole universe of the Joe Rogan experience, you know, all the comedians he basically has on, I go look at their podcasts, you know. Uh, I realize that I am a total podcast whore, whereas I buy tons of shit that probably every podcast person will have. Such as a kettlebell, um, thread beast, um, American flags, um, stupid hats, knives, uh, manscape, um, freaking uh, Dollar Shave Club, Spotify. Like, anything that you can basically get, like, I've probably looked at the website to go see if I could buy it. <laughs> you know, I've, like, also looked at other small YouTube videos that probably have small sponsorships. Like, I bought a wallet from a company. I can't forget, but I know that it says, don't let your wallet suck. So, hashtag, don't let your wallet suck. Um, I don't know. I think it's from, uh, it's from Hawkins & Co. There you go. Hawkins & Co. They make a great wallet. Um veteran owned wallet i showed it to my family and they were really impressed um yeah man so i've just been talking about life i guess so let's get to what i mainly talked about i am my third box in the thread beast i'm not sure yeah third box in the thread beast and uh i try to go upgrade i wanted to see what was the big deal so i went upgrade to like a normal package upgrade like, you know, you went from this, you know, $70, now you went to like the 110 right? So there's more shit in it. And uh, we're going to see what it looks like on me. So uh, after, in the podcast, I'm going to eventually change, but not in front of the camera. Um, if you listen to the last podcast, you'll see that YouTube will basically allow me to get naked and strip and show people how to put on clothes and uh, not censor me. But uh, that's not what I'm going to do today, so it's not for educational purposes today. But today I'm going to show you guys my third box of thread beads upgraded, and I'm, gonna, I'm really excited to see. I haven't fucking opened it yet, so let's cheers. Cheers to that. Let's see what it is. All right. All right, let's see. Thread box. Now it's like in a, uh, like a gold or something like that. The last box was black. This one looks like almost gold. I'll cut it open with my handy dandy gas station knife. Uh oh. And I got my chair here. Let's put the box over here and see what I got. All right. First thing out of the box is I got some crisp underwear. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm a particularly particularly pickler pick stickler pickler about my underwear so i'm gonna check it out see if this is legit now i basically can't trade this in that's what kind of sucks about uh thread beast i guess unless it's like damaged or it's not your size or something and i try to reach out to them and they're extremely hard to reach out so you guys better work on your uh reaching out methods because it sucks all right now the crisp underwears are pretty fucking crisp and i don't like it like that these are like fucking reebok materials and they smell like a uh, costume like i'm about to put on a fucking halloween costume material like you know under the mask which i don't even understand why it has mass material on my dick so it's 90 percent polyester and 10 percent spandex which i think it's almost like 100 percent spandex because it's crispy as shit so this is a crisp underwear i give this out of a 10 i give this underwear you know, even though the color and the style is really nice, I still have to be kind of fair about that. I give this a 5 out of a 10 because I don't like this fucking material. This material is not good on the balls. You guys should give a more breathable cotton, more softer feel. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this on, but I'm still going to wear it to see what it feels like. All right. 
Number two. We got pants. This is the first time we got pants. These pants look pretty legit. All right. These look almost like True Religion pants. Let's double check. They are True Religion pants. They're called True Religion loungewear. I like to lounge, even though it's kind of hot right now. I don't mind it. Um, it looks pretty cool. I like the little thing. So this is a big save from the, the shitty underwear. I'm not going to lie. This is probably a, a 7 out of 10. All right. This is pretty good. It's a little grungy for me. You know, I'm not going to lie. But I do like the back sewing and like all this. It's pretty good. Pretty good choice. True religion pants. It's pretty nice. So not, not bad. Not bad. All right. We're going to go with number three. We're going to go with number three. Let's see what's up with this one. Bam. The CJSC company, which I have no clue what that stands for. C, you know, kind of cool. Not going to lie. Uh, the C CJSC company, I have no clue what that means. The shirt feels pretty good. This is totally my style. I'm not sure if this is going to fit me. Might fit a little tight, but not going to lie. I'm going to XL now just because of my width and back, bro. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I've been fucking working out, dog. Look at Fucking arms and the American flag behind me, bro. It's fucking cool, dude. Look at this shit. So this jersey's nice. I like the back on emblem around this. This I mean it's jersey. This shirt's nice. I'm gonna wear this for sure. This for me is like a nine out of ten. You know, it's a nice shirt. It almost looks like a work shirt though. It almost looks like I work for a painting company. So it's uh it's nice, but it is a company shirt. So I do like it. Alright, number four on the list. Got another shirt, I think. Let's pull this out. Bam. White shirt. Huff. I can tell it's Huff because I can read. Look at that. That's a nice shirt. I'm not going to lie. I like white. I like that it's simple. It's not too crazy. I like the colors. Black, uh, bright, neon green, and white. It's a nice shirt. Simplistic. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, do some errands. Maybe go to a surf shop. Uh, go hang out with Rocket Power. It's a nice shirt. Go to Disneyland. This is a nice shirt. All right. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. I like this shirt. All right. Now we're going to open on the fifth item. It's a pair of jeans. What fell out? Oh, some silica. Some tissue paper. I'm trying to see if there's gold or something that falls out. We got some jeans, some primitive jeans, and I'm a big boy. I'm a size 38, 32. So uh, primitive skateboarding jeans. I really like this. Really love the how this looks. It looks great. Let's see how it looks on me. All right, I'm back, and I feel like this outfit feels really good. I really like it. Um, minus. My cowboy hat, which I am dying right now, guys. It's so hot right now in the garage. It's crazy. Um, you know, the outfit I was digging, man. I'm wearing the primitive skateboarding pants with my bands um, I was wearing earlier. I got the Huff shirt on. I feel pretty clean. Um, definitely probably not like no Jim Jones shit. Uh, I'm not drip drip guy, but definitely it's decent drip. It's like probably like an ounce of his drip. Not even close, but it's at least a little drippier than how I was earlier, I think. So yeah, I really like I really like the clothes, man. It feels good. It almost feels good as Kanye on a boat with his two his girlfriend or his wife and maybe his menage a trois. If you want to say. Kanye West was early caught uh, earlier in Italy uh, this week on a boat. I believe on a, some type of a meddling a cookie slash small boat in Vienna, I believe, and uh, it was called the Mina, because I remember, because I can see it right next to Kanye's ass crack. The Mina was probably as big as uh, Kanye's booty. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, Kanye has a nice hairy butthole, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's probably more hairier than mine. But you can see my hair is more because his hair are just as black. That's a joke. Uh, 
And my boy's also wearing a black clothes. He's wearing all black. Um, uh, all his friends are actually on the boat wearing black, except the guy on the boat who drives the boat. Um, he's wearing a huge jumbo suit. Um, he's not barefooted this time, I believe. And he is just, I think he might have been given, getting a nice, a nice from his girlfriend, uh, slash hand job, slash blood job, who knows what he was getting. But, uh, it was right in front of his, his girl, his wife's friend, which I thought it was pretty awesome. I have no clue if they were joining. I mean... How would you feel if you met Kanye West women? Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, would you feel super attracted to him? How powerful he is? I mean, maybe if you spend a day with him at a club, you see how much pull he has and whatever he says goes. So, I don't know. Maybe that, that makes certain women uh, feel really good. And a lot of people are saying that his wife is being controlled and manipulated by him, that she's uh, wearing uh, really lewd things that they're – Big pumpkins, uh, melons, and uh, they're very see-through, transparent clothes. I believe he used to make uh, Kim Kardashian wear the same clothes as well, so I think he pulled those out of the closet and gave them to her. Um, obviously, she has huge, you know what? So it's like, you know, crazy. The amount of pictures are out there right now about her and him. Uh, hanging out, but, uh, hey, man, I don't know, you know, if you're really, like, I wouldn't say in love, but maybe you guys are just so enamored with each other that it's just, you know, you guys are just obsessed, and everything is going good, you know, and you guys are just making a lot of love, and, and going all around Italy in love with each other, what would it be like going back to LA, and stuff like that, I mean, who knows, I don't really care necessarily if they make it or not, the guy's filthy rich where he can have so many prenups. And probably divorce as many wives as he wants till the day he dies. So, you know, fuck Kanye West. But I wear his shoes. I got plenty of his Yeezys. Uh, uh, I would love to meet the guy still to this day. But, you know, I'm jealous. How would you not be jealous of him? I mean, he has beautiful women around him all the time. You know, and he looks like uh, a normal dude. But he's a normal dude that made it. So, you know, I can't hate on the guy. Right? Except I can be like, fuck him though. That's all I can really say, you know, that the guy is just living life. So I don't see why people are upset about him and his wife going around. Um, they did get, uh, I think, fined or buy out of violation for uh, indecent exposure in Italy. So that's out there. So supposedly Kanye West showed his butt. They're not really sure what happened. So maybe he told the police what he was doing and that kind of just gave him the the, those guys that give him the go ahead on the ticket and or whatever the hell happened. But he's Kanye West. He doesn't give a shit, man. He probably bought the boat just so he can like keep it in his house as artwork. Like this is where I, you know, got a good DJ and, and, and also fucking I got some more little media pop, paparazzi shit going down. So I don't know, man. The guy is, t you know, the guy's 46. His girl's 28. I believe Kim Kardashian is probably a little bit older in between them. Who gives a fuck, right? How do I know so much stuff about that? The internet, right? The internet's full of it. I think there's probably more facts about Kim Kardashian's butt, but there is more facts about the UFOs. And we should flip-flop those, um, do more about that, you know? Um, there should be more shit about that out there, you know? It's pretty crazy how there's not... Um, you know, you could probably Google search K and you know, Kim Charlotte Kardashian comes up first before fucking ketamine and fucking ketosis and fucking other fucking words. You know what I'm saying? That uh, maybe Joe Rogan splurts out. It's just viral uh, things that people hear on a daily basis. So what do you do? You know, I obviously report about this so people can click on my videos. But honestly, I'm also trying to bring awareness, you know, what is necess necessarily a good thing to do um, about all this information, you know, where there's information that is very, very, very not accurate and not entertaining out there that is about necessarily important stuff in our life that we should know about, where there's billions and billions of images and videos about this woman or this man in Italy. It's, it's crazy. The 
facts versus, you know, fantasy of the reality of superstars, you know, the amount of data that's out there versus the data that probably people are really curious about in their lives, like solving depression and um, maybe people getting over finding a new job or um, learning how to work from home or having um, drone lessons or learning how to box, you know, there's, there's probably stuff about boxing, but there's, you know, there's probably more shit out there about Kim Kardashian, so, but still, even though boxing is broad as fuck, you know, there's probably, you know, there's an equal amount of stuff on Netflix and about her and less about boxing, so, what do you do? You're gonna feed the people, man, you're gonna feed the masses of who, what they want, and what they want, and they want to hear shit about that, so, um, hopefully by me thinking this in the outer world, you know, there'll be some other people thinking the same thing or some people have been thinking about it before and I'm thinking about it now. I'm broadcasting it somehow. So, um, watch what you eat, watch what you learn and, uh, thinking about rebranding the podcast. Not sure, man. Send me your names here in the YouTube. What do you think I should call the podcast? Um, give me some ideas. What do you think I should talk about? All right, everybody, thank you, and uh, appreciate Better Beast. They're not a sponsor of the podcast, absolutely not a sponsor, but I'd love to be a sponsor of them. It's really nice to wear their clothes. I really appreciate it. I really recommend for people to take Red Beast seriously because after my third box and really working with them, I feel like I save time from going to a store or ever forgetting to go to the store and buy some new pairs of pants and new shirts. They feel nice, and um, I feel good when I walk around in new clothes. Feel confident, you feel better, you attack the world a lot differently. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining the podcast, and uh, cheers. Oh, and by the way, thank you to the Masked White Beard.